what is the significance of acceptance criteria in a user story uh, so user story uh, so uh, just for an uh, so suppose if we are part of a business and there are multiple people in like there are multiple some uh, mix of non technical and technical uh, uh, audiences so into that uh, if a particular if the business if suppose if the leadership team or the person who is uh, who wants to uh, check what are the uh, the uh, specific requirements we have to we have taken it, uh, taken out and what are the current status of that requirement so into that uh, so um, the understanding that the, the level of understanding they can get is from the user stories uh, the uh, user story and the acceptance criteria so basically they will focus on the user story what exactly the description is so suppose if there is some functionality related to some login page so you have to so basically we follow a syntax for that uh, a format for uh, in writing a, a user story uh, so into that you have to uh, give as an a persona should be there and uh, what is uh, what, what has to be done and what what will be the result so this uh, this is the exact syntax we follow while creating one user story and the acceptance criteria is basically about uh, the segregation of the particular so what steps are there into the particular uh, if i took a, if i take an example uh, if suppose if you are building login page and so what so there can be there will be there will be multiple uh, fields into that like that so which field should be taken so basically it would be the technical description that an particular developer would be able to understand and would be able to work upon